People who sleep naked, when has it backfired? There was one morning in high school when my dad decided to wake me up for school by ripping the covers off me in bed. That was the last time that happened. We all know rude awakenings are the cause behind nude sleeping. What are you doing, daddy? I had a closet-sized single dorm room and people would always pull the fire alarm in the middle of the night, and we'd all have to go outside. One time I was so drowsy I just walked out instinctively, and halfway down the hall I raced back. Thankfully this was an old building so I didn't get locked out of the room. Either I'll burn or I'll make it out alive, but I'm going to wear pants. I normally don't do this, but one summer night I had a meal from my local Mexican place that I love. Since I was busy that day, I didn't have lunch and decided to get significantly more than what I normally order to cure the hangry. I also did not get an opportunity to poop that day. Since it was unusually hot that night I decided to ditch everything and sleep bare. After one very realistic dream of me on the toilet. Let's just say that I had to get a new set of bed sheets the next morning. Shit happens. I locked myself out of my flat while sleepwalking one. My girlfriend was on holidays so I had to wait until morning, borrow a towel off a neighbor and then walk about a mile up the road to the estate agent to get a spare key. I would have lent more than a towel, geez. I would give them my nicest. Please never return these to me. Outfit. I have literal nightmares about this happening to me. It was quite funny actually. I bumped into the estate agent about a week later and obviously, she was making fun of me and she told me that she'd had a prospective tenant in that day who asked her, Is this area? Are the people a little bit odd around here? So she replied, well, yes, there are some local eccentrics about. Because I was passing by here earlier on, and there was a bloke sitting at the bus stop wearing nothing but a bath towel. And she replied, Oh, yeah, I know. He waiting for us to open. He was on his way to see me. Not me, but I was spending the night at my friend's house in a suburban neighborhood. In the middle of the night, his mom had let their toy fox terrier out to go pee, and it got snatched by a coyote. She screamed and woke us all up. A wolf GOT noodle. Within 10 seconds his dad was sprinting out of the house completely but ass naked with a Glock in his hand and went running down the street. Came back about 15 minutes later with the dog and obviously still completely naked. Edit. It's come to my attention that this isn't exactly a backfire. But I think anything that causes you to run around your neighborhood naked should qualify. Imagine if he came back clothed. In coyote fur. Something pretty close happened to me I was in bed, naked, and one of my dogs poked me with his nose, which means he either has to poop or barf. So even though I was settled in for the night, I got up, put on my bathrobe, and walked outside with both my dogs. I live in a canyon in the foothills, at the top of a hill. We get coyotes a lot, so going out with the dogs off the leash at night wasn't very bright. One of my dogs caught sight of a coyote at the bottom of the hill and took off after it. I have two dogs, one floppy, loving and dumb, and one pointy, lean and a little aloof. Floppy dog is the one that took off after the coyote, but pointy dog didn't really notice as he was busy doing his thing. So I go running after floppy dog down my driveway, which points in the other direction but the hill is too steep to go down in nothing but sandals and a bathrobe. As I go floundering past, robe blowing in the breeze like a majestic cape pointy dog finally notices. He's lean, he's black, he's fast, and a mysterious mix of German Shepherd and something else that makes him look a lot like Anubis. Anyway, at this point the coyotes there must be a half dozen of them are all yipping and howling, and Floppy Dog has gone completely silent. I'm convinced they've nabbed her, even though she's bigger than most coyotes. So Pointy Dog takes off, and I've never seen him move like that not him, or any dog. He poured over the edge of the driveway like he was made out of liquid, all I could see was a black streak, a blacker than the night bolt of dogness arrowing down the canyon to the rescue of his pal and pack mate. He's never run that fast before. He was made of speed. He disappeared into the bushes after floppy dog and the yowling and clamor of the coyotes goes up to an even more fevered pitch. But I don't hear anything at all from either of my dogs. I'm running as fast I can lost one sandal. My robe is flying and I'm absolutely but naked underneath. I'm calling for my dogs. Terrified. 
There are a lot of coyotes in the brush at the bottom of the canyon. Out of the darkness, Floppy Dog appeared. She runs up to me and curls up against my legs and I can't disentangle myself from her to keep running. She's trembling, but still silent. I'm calling for the pointy dog. Blink, blink, and trying to unstick Floppy Dog. I've got one hand on her collar, half dragging her down to the arroyo, but it's slow going because she doesn't want to go. Suddenly the coyote clamor goes down a notch, and Pointy Dog comes loping out of the darkness back up the hill. He doesn't stop, doesn't look at me, just trots back up the hill, up the driveway, never looks back, and goes and sits by the door until Floppy Dog and I catch up to let him in. Never seen him move like that since, either. Just that once, when he had to face down a whole pack of coyotes and rescue his pack mate. Been sleeping in the raw since I was a kid and would fidget out of my PJs. I think it used to bug my mother but she finally gave up. Every girlfriend would start out the relationship by joining me, but over time would end up with the conventional night clothes. Hasn't backfired on me yet. I was at a hotel and the fire alarm went off. I had to very quickly find clothes slash get dressed. It was a legit small fire too. I always sleep with pants on at hotels. I don't want to find out the hard way that they don't wash the sheets well enough. During freshers week at university, I had had a few too many and failed to wake up when the fire alarm went off at 4 a.m. It was only a drill. When I didn't appear in the courtyard outside, the senior resident, like an RA, had to unlock my door and check I was there slash alive. Poor girl couldn't wake me, so she pulled the covers off to get me to stir and was confronted by my morning wood pointing straight up at her. Still drunk, and very confused as to what was going on and what all the noise was, I wasn't much help finding something to cover up. She eventually found my dressing gown, then had to walk out into the courtyard where 400 tired and annoyed students were waiting for me so they could get back to bed. They all watched me walk out in just a dressing gown, the outline still visible. Took a while to live that one down. I used to sleep naked. Now I own a cat. Those two overlapped for only a week. I don't know if I would call it backfired, but when the suicidal girl that's staying the night at your brother's house because they're watching this girl for suicide reasons, wakes you up in the middle of the night and is sitting right on top of you telling you that you have to talk her down right then and there or she's going to kill herself in front of you. Yeah, you would probably just rather be clothed for that encounter. When I was about 13 or 14, I used to sleep naked until I started to sleepwalk a lot. Never slept naked ever again. Edit. Sorry for what you had to see mom. Never. Chased a burglar down the stairs, through the kitchen and out my front door without wearing a shred of clothing and no weapon in hand. The power of nakedness. What were you yelling out of curiosity and did they have a weapon themselves? Woke up and saw a person prowling around in my hallway. Launched myself out of bed and into a dead sprint. Screaming, get the fuck out or die. I was blinded by fear and rage. I don't recall seeing a weapon, but had they had one, I was defenseless and would have been in a really bad spot had they chosen to use it. The burglar didn't say anything. I'm assuming they just panicked and their first instinct was to run. Guess they didn't want to fight a naked guy. I started somewhere in high school because of night sweats. In college I moved into an on-campus apartment alone, and the very next morning I woke up to three grown mid-fifties dudes with their faces in my window. My bed was directly below the window. University housing gave some BS excuse about my window needing maintenance. Just my window specifically. None of the others in the entire complex. The window wasn't even designed to open. I think they were being pigs but I was 1000 miles away from anyone who cared about me, and just let it go. When in uni my room was right in front of the university. So when looking out my windows you would look straight into classrooms. So one day the inevitable happened. I had forgotten to close the curtains at night. You couldn't see me while I was in bed due to the head of the bed obstructing the window. However getting out of the bed would expose my entire naked body to the world. So any bored student whose sight was wandering off outside the classroom window could get a nice viewing of my naked body. The way I fixed it was by simply rolling up in my bedsheets and sort off hop to my curtains in my bedsheet roll. I am male BTW, so I didn't have to cover up breasts. A few years ago, I was working a night shift and had just returned home at 7am. I was so tired that I didn't close the front door properly. 
After I activated the house alarm, I went to my room and undressed myself and went to bed. I wake up to the alarm blaring and I look around my room as I hear yelling. I see there are two female cops in the house with their guns out, and one of them was pointing it at me. I'm half asleep and not really understanding what was going on. The officer asked if I lived here, to which I said yes. Then she ordered me to show her my ID. My ID, which was in my wallet, was on my dresser. I pointed her to where my wallet was. She ordered me to show it to her, and I said I couldn't get up because I was naked under my blanket. So, while still pointing her gun at me, she opened up my wallet. After that, the cops left and, after securing the front door properly, I went back to sleep. When my little cousin, who is a male, pulled my blankets off to wake me up. He was not expecting his oldest female cousin to be completely nude. That was a very awkward moment. It was at that moment Timmy didn't like Legos anymore. I was at a house fire once during the night, and the homeowner slept naked. When we arrived he was running around his front yard naked with a garden hose. Thankfully he was not injured and we were able to salvage most of his belongings. And the one thing he said is that he learned to now sleep with shorts on. My dad always sleeps in the nude. One day the neighbor's house across the street caught fire after the gas-powered water heater exploded. He could hear the homeowner screaming for help all the way from inside our house. So, still naked, he ran into the burning house and carried her out. Firefighters said if he had been wearing clothes the heat from inside the burning building would have ignited them and he would possibly have burned to death. I've always slept naked but the heater in my room was broken and it was getting too cold even with layers of blanket. I woke up that morning and knew I had the house to myself at least till late afternoon so I continued snoozing in my sister's room with the heater on. Next thing I knew, I heard voices coming up the stairs. It was my sister and her friends. I guess they decided to ditch school and thought I wasn't home. I had no other choice but to roll over and hide under the bed. They were hanging out in that room for a good two hours and I was under the bed completely naked the whole time. That was almost 15 years ago and she still has no idea. Do you have a similar story? Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one.